Okay, so people have been using this kind of like glitch intro for their edits lately and it's like a whole trend and whatnot and i love glitchy intros so obviously i wanted to show you guys how everyone's been doing it because people are kind of not fully explaining how and like what they're using and all this stuff so i'm going to try and break it down as quick and simple as possible you do have to have the plugin called crt emulator i don't really know how to pronounce it but you have to have this plugin specifically I unfortunately cannot teach you how to get it because of YouTube's policies, but I have a second TikTok account, Films by Tati, with an E at the end, where hopefully later this week I can show you how I got the plugin. So you'll have to follow my TikTok there and wait for that video to be posted. So today's video is for those of you who already have it. We are now on After Effects. I'm going to start by pre-composing the clip that I want to add the effect on. Yeah, that makes sense. Okay, and then we're going to go to the top of our screen and go to Window. From Window, there's Extensions. This is where you should find the CRT plugin. And it's going to pop up a separate window. Now, since I have a 2017 Mac, for one, it's Mac, so it's going to run slow already, but it's also kind of a little bit old, so... <laughs> running slow but I'm gonna try and get through this so there's a bunch of different styles you can choose from but for this specific style that I showed in my intro it's gonna be style 4 click style 4 and then apply effect and it's pretty much gonna take you into this whole different like it's gonna do a lot and it's kind of scary not gonna lie but it's fine after it does all these layers we're gonna come to the basically this is where you can select some differences so at grid pattern we're gonna just make sure that we only have rectangle 2 selected i'm gonna click this to unselect rectangle 1 and then we have exposure fix so I think people normally turn this down to 11, but I want to turn it down to 15 because on top of your coloring and depending on the brightness of the clip, I feel like it can be really bright. I'll go negative 14 because I don't feel like getting it at the exact number. Okay, and then next there's vibrance and people just turn this all the way down. Now we're going to complete and I'm going to immediately close this tab because it will make everything laggy once you push complete it kind of makes its own layer like it pre-composes again personally i do this effect at the very last because it's just it's a lot and it looks pretty good i'm sure it would look better as a regular edit and such unfortunately i don't have an example for you today besides this one because i don't know i just haven't made an edit using this effect yet you guys should go check the edit out that i made of davy i didn't use this effect but i did use a glitchy effect that i've taught on my channel already if you want to learn more glitchy intros i have a separate video on that and i show you at least three or four types of different glitchy intros that are trending and that you can do for your edits